Watch you guys got another video here for you. This is a quick one on three ways to remove built-in apps inside Windows 10. And I'll also show you a way to reinstall them again if you ever want to reinstall an app. Just go ahead and go to the start button and settings and then apps. This is the most basic and easiest way to remove apps from Windows 10. Click on the app that you don't want and then click uninstall. And then you should get another box popping up saying uninstall again. And you'll be able to uninstall that app from Windows 10. You can reinstall the app if you've done it in this way. So it's very simple and easy to do. Now, unfortunately, some of these apps like Maps will be grayed out and you won't be able to remove them via this method. But there is other ways I'll show you how to remove these. You can see here, this is grayed out on the uninstall. So to remove, say for instance, Maps, then I'll show you how to do it in PowerShell. So if you go to Microsoft's website, it does give you a full list of all the apps which you can uh, uninstall and reinstall via PowerShell if that's how you want to go about removing them and installing them again. So you can see a big list of them here. So we're going to concentrate on just one because I just want to show you one of them here and remove uh, the maps here. So let's open up PowerShell as administrator here. And this open up this box here. And then I'm going to zoom in so you can see here. Now we need to put this command in, for instance, for Windows Maps. There'll be other commands which you have to put the stars and the item that you want to remove and just use the other part of the command uh, for the removal process. But in this case, we're going to concentrate on Windows Maps. They are listed, and I'll put a list of them uh, in the link of the video description so you can find them all if you want to go ahead and remove them one at a time. This way you can remove what you want and leave the rest well alone. And you can see that's uninstall that with no problem whatsoever, and it's removed that from the system. Let me close this off. We'll take a quick look to show you that it has been removed. Go to settings and then go to apps. And uh, once we click on apps, we should now see that maps has now been successfully removed from the system. So two simple ways of removing those. Now there is another way you can do it as well, which is using third party software, which is software like Revo Uninstaller, the free version. You can use a portable app from those and download it and uninstall it from there. It's a new feature they've added in. There is other software out there that you can use, and it's safe to use these methods. I'll show you how to do it with Revo Uninstaller free version, portable app. I'm going to drag this onto the desktop here. Once we've got that on the desktop, I'm going to right click and run this as administrator so the application will open. Accept their terms and conditions, and then this is the actual portable app. This is the free version. You should now see a little tab here saying Windows Apps. Click on this one here, and basically this will give you a list of the apps that you can remove via this method. So if you see something here that you wanted to remove, say for instance Cortana, you can click on Cortana, click uninstall, and it will go ahead and say, do you want to make a restore point before you uninstall? Always advisable, and click continue, and it will go ahead and remove that. Now it's asking you, do you want to remove any remnants that may be left behind? It do a scan, and it will find any remnants that are left behind, like registry keys, you can select all here and then delete these from the operating system so it's completely removed from the system. Click yes to delete these keys and then you can finish off there. So that's now all gone. So let's just do one more here. But that's basically how you can use third party apps to remove built in Windows apps on Windows 10. So let's just do one more here and then I'll show you how to reinstall Windows 10 apps if you want to reinstall them and reuse one of those apps because you uninstalled it at a previous uh, date. So let's go ahead and just remove, say for instance, one of these here, click uninstall. And I'm gonna not make a restore point this time. And I'm gonna go scan and then select all and then delete all of the, the registry keys that are left behind in this uh, system. So let's click delete and then click yes. And then that's now finished and removed from the system. So that was Mal and Calendar, and also Maps has been removed. So let me go ahead and show you now how to reinstall them. So first off, what you need to do is go to your PowerShell, right-click it and run it as administrator, and then paste in this command here. This will basically reinstall all of the apps on Windows 10. Now, there'll be a big list of them going up on the screen. You may get the odd error, but don't worry about that. But it will reinstall all of the apps. As you can see here, they're all getting reinstalled onto the Windows 10 system. If there is an app in there,
that you wanted to reinstall. You can do the singular install of these, but it's just easy enough to do this. And then basically let's go here and quickly check to see whether they've got installed successfully. Go settings here then go apps. And let's take a look here. So if we come down here, mail and calendar has been back installed again, and also maps has been reinstalled and any other ones that we uh, took off previously have been reinstalled onto the system successfully. And that's pretty much it. That's basically three ways on how to remove built-in apps inside Windows 10. Hope this one's been useful and also showed you how to reinstall them. Just want to say a special thanks to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.